Papa, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. As you can see right now, we are again at school. I'm still cleaning the room. This is why I have gloves and a mask to keep myself safe and protected. Now, let's start with the class. Today is Wednesday, May 20 of 2020. Today, we're going to be doing more or less the same thing that we have been doing these past few days. These past few days, we have been working with drawing coins and word problem. Today, we're going to do the same process of that. But first, let's remind ourselves of what are the coins that we have and how do we do hairy money with them. If you can remember, remember this from the class? Great. Now, what coin is this? This is a penny, and penny is one cent. So 100 pennies equals one dollar. When we do hairy money, the penny does not have a hair, has a dot. Next one we have is the nickel. The nickel has only one hair, un solo pelito. The nickel is five cents. This is why it has one hair. Each hair, cada pelito, vale cinco centavos. So, the nickel is five cents. 20 nickel, it's one dollar. The next one that we have is the, 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 the dime. The dime has two hairs. If it has two hairs, equals 10 cents. And 10 dimes is one dollar. And the last, but not least, the greatest one is the quarter. And the quarter has one, two, three, four, five hairs. Has five hairs the quarter. This means that the quarter is 25 cents. And four quarters equals one dollar. This is all about hairy money. Let's continue with the class, okay? Woo! Now, if we remember, yesterday um, we had to draw nine coins that makes 45 cents. And there are two different ways, I think there are two different ways to do that value. Let's do both of those ways and see if those are the same one that you did. The first one I'm going to do is the easiest one, I think. It's all about nickels. If you think about nickels, how much nickels, what's the value of a nickel? The value of a nickel is five cents, okay? Five cents. If we do our nickels, I'm going to draw one nickel, two, three. So I have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45. And let's see how much is this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine coins. Each coin is a nickel, so it's five cents. And we go, we count the hair, count the hair. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So this equals, 45 cents only using nickels so nine nickels is 45 cents is this the one you did great now let's see the other way that you did that you could have done i'm going to use a different color so we don't get confused i'm going to use black on this one so i'm going to draw again nine coins that makes 45 cents and now, I'm not going to start with the nickel now. I'm going to start with the time. The time is how much? 10 cents. So we have 10. Then we have 20, 30, and 40. I'm almost there. So I have four dimes, four dimes. 10, 20, 30, 40. If you count by hairs, you go, 5, 10, 15, 20, um, 25, 30, 35, 40. If I add another dime, I'm doing it wrong because now it's 50 and we have to do 45 cents. So this is not correct. 
is only four dimes only, only four dimes. So if I do a nickel, I only have five coins and that's not correct. I need to add now pennies. And how many pennies? So we have 40 cents, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. And this makes 45 cents. And these are the two different ways to make with nine coins, 45 cents. We have nine nickels or four dimes and five pennies. We drew nine coins and made 45. Now, today you're doing the same process, but with, you're going to draw me eight coins. Vas a dibujarme ocho monedas, eight coins, and you need to draw me eight coins that makes 52 cents. Ocho monedas que hagan 52 centavos. ¿Entendimos? Puede ser que hayan formas diferentes. Lo importante es que me uses solamente ocho monedas. Only eight coins. Now, let's go to the word problem. Now, we're going to talk about word problem. And the word problem today is a little bit tricky, so we need to pay attention. It talks about money, about saving, about allowance, and about repeated addition. So I need you guys to pay really attention to this word problem. Pay attention. Now, we're talking about Liliana. Liliana decided to save her allowance for three weeks. Each week, she gets an allowance of $10. How much money did she save in three weeks? Now, if we pay close attention, we have some uh, we have a new word here. We have a word called allowance. Does, does you guys know what an allowance is? Allowance is what you get from sometimes from your parents or someone. For example, when I was a kid, when I was in second grade, I remember that I got from my parents every day 50 cents. With those 50 cents, I could buy um, candy and stuff. And that was my allowance. So every day I get 50 cents, more or less on a week, I get to three to five dollars on a week. And that's an allowance. Una allowance en español es cuando te dan dinero para tu poder comprar cosas después. You have, you, have two options. you have two options. You can spend the money or you can save the money. And Liliana decided to save the money. Let's do cubes. So we're talking about Liliana. Liliana decided to save. Remember when you save, te estás quedando con dinero. That means that you're going to add later on. Because when you're saving, you're having more and more money. So she saved her allowance for three weeks. Por tres semanas, ella salvó su dinero. Por tres semanas, lo salvó. Each week, cada semana, she gets, o sea, cada semana le dan a ella $10. Each week, she gets $10. So, ella está salvando el dinero por tres semanas. Y cada una de esas tres semanas recibe $10. $10, $10 y $10. Tres semanas y cada semana recibe $10. La pregunta es, how much money did she save in three weeks? ¿Cuánto dinero ella salvó en tres semanas? Pues si vamos para acá, vamos a hacer aquí ahora the part part whole. Go to the strip diagram now. So, let me draw the strip diagram right here. Do we know how much money she made in all? We do not know how much money she made in all, so we don't know the whole number. No sabemos cuánto dinero ella hizo en todo. No lo sabemos. So we need to find out how much money she saved in three weeks. So how many weeks are we talking about? We're talking about three weeks. We have week one, 
week two and week three. Semana uno, semana dos, y semana tres. On each week, she got how much money? ¿Cuánto dinero ella tenía en cada semana? She had ten dollars. Ten dollars and ten dollars. So, this week she got ten dollars. The week number two, she got $10. And week number three, she also got $10. Hmm. Have you seen something like this? This is repeated addition. So we're going to add the same number how many times? Three times. So that means that we're doing this. 10 plus 10 plus 10. You see that? Another way to do this is simple. 10, because we have 10. And how many times are we adding 10? We're adding 10 three times. 10 times 3. And when we add 10 plus 10, how much is that? 20. And 20 plus 10 equals 30. So this means that 10 times 3 equals 30. 30. So in the end, al final, Liliana, she saved 10, 20, 30 dollars. Liliana saved 30 dollars. Ella salvó 30 dollars. So you're going to be doing this same word problem, the same process, but with a different number. I'm going to write now the number that you're going to make. Let me check this a little bit. So, here it says, Liliana decided to save her allowance for three weeks. It's not gonna be three weeks now. It's going to be four weeks. Four weeks. Each week, she gets an allowance of $5. So how much money did she save in four weeks? Again, you, you're going to do this now. This is your homework. So the only thing that changed is that we have four weeks and five dollars, okay? We have four weeks and five dollars. I hope to see you soon, guys. Have fun. Bye.